Did you know that you can use Monday.com to manage your product development processes? Well, rather than using an overwhelming and sometimes tedious system like Jira, you can tailor your unique product journey and agile workflows with Monday's powerful, visually pleasing, and fully customizable product management platform. You can simply collaborate, plan, automate, and execute your dynamic product strategy with Monday.com. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into Monday for product development, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into Monday.com. Okay, so diving into Monday.com for product management, simply head over to your browser and type in Monday.com and then locate Monday Dev, or simply click on the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Then come down to get started. Now you'll get full and instant access to Monday Dev completely for free for 14 days to help you get started. No credit card is needed and you can cancel at any time. So you can see if Monday Dev is appropriate for your product development methodology. Okay, so go ahead and click on get started and you'll be asked a few questions before arriving inside your Monday Dev account. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside a completely fresh Monday Dev account. Now, you can use monday.com to manage any type of agile product development mythology from Scrum, Kanban, Hybrid, or Waterfall. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'll be focusing on the Scrum mythology. And Scrum is one of the most popular brands of agile for managing projects or product development. Now, for those that are completely new to monday.com and you've never used Monday to manage anything, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will guide you through using monday.com as a project and work management solution. So feel free to check out that beginner's tutorial before diving into Monday Dev. Okay, so before I dive into the structure of the product development journey using Monday, it's important to understand the structure of Monday itself. At the top level of Monday, we have workspaces, and this is used to manage your different departments or businesses. Within workspaces, we have boards, and within each of our boards, we have groups, and these groups are used to organize items and sub-items. And you can manage data within your items using specific columns. Okay, so now that we understand the macro structure of our monday.com account, it's time to dive into the structure of Monday Dev. The first thing that we wanna do is navigate up to Roadmap and click here. And you can see by default that our product roadmap is broken down into quarters. We have quarter one, quarter two, and then down here we have our epics backlog. And within each of our yearly quarters, as well as our epics backlog, we have epics. Now, if you're not too sure what an epic is, an epic is used to organize stories. And these stories are chunks of work that can be broken down into tasks. And these tasks will be worked on by our development team. And the product owner is responsible for adding epics to your roadmap. And it's best practice to add your epics down in the epics backlog. So if I was a product owner, what I would do is go ahead and add epics down here. And for the purpose of today's product development tutorial, we want to add new features to a CRM called Sheetify CRM. So as you can see, I've added a new epic down here. I'm also going to navigate up here and click on new epic and then add a new epic. Then with each of these epics, what we can do is navigate across and we can add the appropriate details under each of these columns. So I'm going to click out of here. Here I can assign the epic owner. I have the planned timeline. I also have priority over here. This is going to be must have. Now we can also edit the labels if we like inside Monday. We have epic status. Again, you can customize these labels based on your workflow. You can see that all of these epics are currently in the backlog. However, I can simply move these to either quarter one of 2024 or quarter two by simply navigating down and clicking here and then selecting either this quarter, which is going to move this epic to quarter one or next quarter, which is quarter two or the next roadmap. I'm gonna navigate up to this quarter. And as you can see, this quarter has been selected and that epic has been moved up to the quarter one group up here. Okay, so let's navigate back down to Epic's backlog. If I navigate across, we can link the different tasks. If I click here, you can see I can link a task within my sprint. I'm going to link this default task and then click out of here because this task here is associated with this Epic. I can navigate over to tasks and view all the different tasks within each of my sprints. Okay, so let's navigate back over to roadmap. So at the top level, we have our quarterly goals and our Epic's. 
And our epics are made up of sprints, and these sprints are a collection of tasks. Okay, so let's navigate back over to roadmap and navigate back over to these columns. So we talked about linking tasks. Next to that, we have task progress. Then we have estimated story points as well as actual story points. And story points are essentially used to measure the overall effort required to fully implement a specific task or activity. Then we have execution timeline. And then over here, we can add additional columns if we like. So depending on the structure of your product workflow, you can simply manage and add the different columns that you want to add. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Monday doc and then close this. And these Monday docs are similar to Google Docs. However, they're built into Monday and they have more capabilities. So you can use these documents to manage notes, to brainstorm, to collaborate with your team, to create reports and more. Now, if I navigate down the page, we can also click on each of these different epics. And that's going to bring up an epic overview. You can add notes here, come down and manage the linked tasks, as well as see other details about that epic. If we navigate up here to updates, you can use updates to manage content files and conversations in this one interface. You can also see the activity backlog over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this epic overview. Now, I just wanna quickly solidify your understanding of the structure of monday.com. Now, if we navigate back over to roadmap, this is what we call a board inside Monday. And this board is a combination of groups. You can see we have a group here, group here, and a group down here named epics backlog, quarter two, 2024, and quarter one. And within these groups, we have epics. Again, if we navigate over to sprints, this is a board again, and the groups are named sprints. And the items within the sprints are the different sprints that our development team are working on. And then we have tasks. Again, this is a board, and each group is broken down into individual sprints. And within each of these groups or sprints, we have these items, which are tasks. Now with each of these boards, so we have at the top level, we have roadmap and this is where we manage all our epics and because we're using scrum within our epics we have sprints and each of these sprints are dedicated time frames to complete a bunch of tasks so at the moment we only have two sprints if i come down and add another sprint you can see we now have three sprints and if i navigate over to tasks you can see we have sprint one sprint two and sprint three as well as a backlog of tasks now we can also change the view so for example if we navigate up to main table you can see all tasks. If I navigate up to Kanban, we have a visual representation of our tasks within our sprints. Again, that's displayed as a Kanban view. Then we have active sprints. At the moment, we haven't activated any of our sprints. Then we have sprint planning. And this is a visual dashboard of our sprint progress. And you can customize each of these widgets if you like. You can also add additional widgets. Okay, so let's navigate back over to all sprints and you can do the same with each of these different boards. You can see that this sprints board only has one main table. We can click here and add a different view if we like. I could come down and add a Kanban view and then customize this view the way that I like. Okay, so let's navigate back to main table and then come down to roadmap. Here you can see by default, we have a default view. Then we have main table and then we have a Gantt. And here you can see the timeline for each of our different epics. Okay, so let's head back to default view. And once you've taken the time to manage your different epics, you've added all your epics to the backlog, and then you've allocated those epics to the different quarters, then we can move on to sprints. Again, here we have three different sprints for the scrum team to manage. So again, by default and using the scrum methodology, what you would do is add your sprints. I'm going to add sprint four. And of course you can name these anything that you like. Then you want to add your sprint goals. Then once you've added your sprint goals, navigate across to active. You can see each of these sprints are not active. We have a timeline for each of these sprints and all your sprints must have a specific time frame. And typically a sprint timeline is one month or less. I'm going to add a time frame down here, which is going to be the 16th to the 30th. Again, you can connect another board. Here you can search for a specific task and link that task from a different board. I'm going to link task two and I can connect all the other associated tasks to sprint two if I like. Then we can navigate across. You can see if that sprint has been completed, sprint start date, end date, total story points and sprint progress. Again, you can add additional columns if you like. Okay, so let's navigate over to our tasks. And as you can see, we have sprint one, two, three and four and then we have the backlog of tasks. I'm going to quickly add a bunch of product features that I want to be included in my backlog and then allocate those tasks to the different sprints. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added four tasks to my backlog. I want to finish adding these columns before I allocate these tasks 
to my different sprints. Okay, so who am I assigning this task to? Sales Complete Automation. I'm going to assign this task to Nick. What is the status of this task? Again, I'm going to select Ready to Start. What is the priority? The priority is medium. What is the task type? This is a feature. Then what is the task role? Development, design, or product. We're gonna go ahead and click on dev. And then we can go ahead and add estimated story points, actual story points. We can integrate GitHub, as well as by simply integrating other apps by navigating up to apps and leveraging the different integrations that Monday has to offer. If I navigate down here, we have task due date, unplanned, is this an unplanned task? Which epic is this task associated to? Or is this task associated to the bugs queue? And you can see the bugs board over here. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate across and then click on the status down here and click on in progress. And as you can see, each of these tasks within this backlog have the status ready to start. So what I'm gonna do is navigate over here and select each of these four tasks and then navigate over to move to and then click on move to group and select sprint one. And if we navigate up to the top, you can see that those four tasks have been moved from backlog down here up to sprint one. I'm going to close this. And let's say I'm ready to start the sprint. All I need to do is click on start. And when each of these tasks have been completed, I can complete this sprint. So again, as you can see, I now have one sprint active. If we navigate to this board over here, sprints, you can see sprint one is now active and you can see the sprint timeline over here. Okay, so we've briefly talked about the roadmap, which is our top level goals and where we want to manage our epics. And below this and connected to our epics, we have our sprints. And you can see we have our four sprints down here. And these sprints are made up of tasks. And you can see if we navigate down here, we have zero tasks in our backlog. We don't have any tasks in sprint four, three. We have a task in sprint two. However, we have not begun to work on sprint two. And you can see sprint one has five tasks with one task already completed, and then the sprint timeline up here. Once all these tasks are completed, I can go ahead and complete this sprint. Now you can also navigate across and you can add dependencies if you like by simply clicking here and then typing in DE. And as you can see, I've got dependency down here. And this allows us to create dependencies between board items, or in our case, tasks. Now let's navigate over to the left-hand side and click on bugs queue. By default, you can see we have incoming bugs. This is where you can add your incoming bugs as well as development work and resolved. Again, you can customize these groups if you like based on your unique workflow. Simply go ahead and add a new bug from here. We also have bugs insights. And again, this is a visual dashboard with widgets that you can customize the way that you like. Then we also have a bug reporting form. And what you can do within monday.com is build a form and you can create specific forms inside Monday to capture feature requests, feedback, or anything else from customers or your internal team. Okay, so let's navigate back over to main table. If you're interested in learning more about creating forms inside Monday, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial down in the description. Again, we can navigate across and we can add additional views if you like. And then we have the different columns that you can customize the way that you like based on your workflow. Below this, we have retrospectives. And this for us is essentially a sprint review, a sprint retrospective, allowing us to reflect on our sprint. This will help us improve our future sprints. Here you can see we have feedback, we have the submitter, the type, we have voting over here and more down here. Again, with each of these items across your different boards, you can simply navigate across to start conversation and that's gonna take you to updates where you can start engaging in a conversation related to that board or task or item. Okay, so let's close this and navigate back over to retrospectives. Again, as a team member, as a developer, you can navigate up here and create new feedback. Or as a product manager, what you could do is click add new view and then come down and create a form. And you can share this form with your entire team. And that way you can manage the feedback that you're receiving from your team. Now, if we click out of here, like I mentioned, this is the default structure for a scrum team inside Monday Dev. Again, you can customize any of these boards, groups, and tasks. You can also navigate up to add, and you can create a completely new board, new document, or a new dashboard. And you can also choose from product development templates. For example, we're currently using Scrum Team. You can add Kanban Team, Client Feedback, Competitor Analysis, Bug Queue, User Research, and Product Backlog. And if you're looking for other general templates outside of product development, you can find those over on the left-hand side. Again, I talk more about project and task management inside the tutorial, which I've linked down below in the description. Okay, so let's close out of this. And then let's navigate back over to roadmap. We also have these quick filters. For example, I can filter by person. I wanna find epics that I own. 
I can also close this and then click on filter and drop down and create an advanced filter. And this is for each of these different boards in my scrum team. You can also navigate up to notifications and see all notifications relevant to you. And if we navigate over to the left hand side and click on my work, you can see all the work assigned to you in terms of past dates, today, this week, next week, later, and items without a date. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate back over to home. And just like that, this is everything that I wanted to cover in today's monday.com product management tutorial for beginners. This should help you on your journey when it comes to using the agile mythology of Scrum. And there we have it guys, that is it for this monday.com product management tutorial for Agile Teams. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.